Hey Saint Pete, my name is Alexia Gonzalez. I'm the creator of The Gala Life, a digital platform with a focus on all things lifestyle, arts, and culture in our community. I'm also the founder of Saint Pete Gals, an organization for the female creators and entrepreneurs throughout Tampa Bay. I'm so excited to partner with VSPC to showcase our community through a local lens and share some of the best of the best in St. Petersburg, Clearwater. For this edition, we're focusing on holiday gift giving from a local artistic lens. So via gifting a piece of locally made art or a local artistic experience, we're uncovering some cool hidden gems that you can consider gifting your loved ones and friends for the holidays this year or any time of year. It's always great to give a gift, right? Today, we're at the Morian Art Center, which has roots in St. Petersburg since 1917. The Morian Art Center is a fantastic collective which aims to connect the community through art and artistic education. The center provides multiple venues for creativity and artistic expression, including the Morian Art Center Gallery, which is one of the oldest contemporary galleries in Florida, the Morian Center for Clay, the Morian Glass Studio, and the Chalili Collection. Let's check out the Morian Art Center and all that they have to offer. Today we're at the Chaluli Studio, which is part of the Morian Art Center. A membership to Morian allows you access to this one-of-a-kind studio located on Central Avenue. Here you'll find unique works by Dale Chaluli himself and some pieces that were created just for St. Petersburg, inspired by the Sunshine City. And while I may have gotten some of that pronunciation wrong, the collection is here to stay and has permanent works by Dale Chihuly, who may not be a St. Pete local himself. But at the end of the collection, you'll find the Made in Morian section, which includes pieces by local glass blowers and artists that you can actually take classes with at the Morian Glass Studio. We're gonna to talk to one of them and learn some more about what it takes to blow glass in St. Petersburg for water. Let's talk glass. Today we're at the Morian Glass Studio and we're about to join a glass blowing class. Have you ever tried glass blowing? It's an ancient art form that started in the first century in the Roman Empire. It's becoming an art form that is harder to find every day. And here in St. Petersburg, we have it. So tell us a little bit more about what you do, your background with the Morian Art mm -hmm. Center. Uh, my journey with glass has been a long one. I got started with glass when I was still pretty young, about 17 years old. Oh, wow. I was doing a lot of after school art classes at the time. I've just been working in the field uh, pretty much full time since then. I've worked at a bunch of different studios, some out on the Oregon coast, some out in Washington. What well, brought you to St. Pete? One being the glass scene. Obviously, there's a surprising number of glass studios here in St. Pete. I had no idea. Uh, one really great thing about Morian itself is that it's actually a very large and old institution. And so there's a lot of different departments. We have the glass studio here. But we also have, say, a, fit, a photography department or a welding school, you know, different okay. things like that. Okay. And so there's a lot of potential for collaboration across the arts. So we do have our own Instagram page at Morian Glass. Um, and I have my own uh, personal Instagram page at saluna.art.glass. Um, so you can uh, catch up with us there and see the new stuff that we're producing at any, any point you like. Hey friends, today we're here with Benjamin Elliott, who's about to show me how to blow some glass at the Morgan Glass Studio. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and what brought you to the studio. When I was in college, I was able to kind of, uh, you know, experiment with glass. I realized I was pretty good at it for the amount of time that I, I had spent with it. Right after I finished college, uh, I moved to Murano, Italy. So once I finished there, I came to Morian. Uh, they pretty much hired me on the spot and I started doing demos the very next day. 
wow. My favorite thing about uh, working here in St. Pete is very big with the art community. There's a lot of glass artists in a, a very small location here. It's definitely up and coming, and I'm glad that I'm able to be kind of like a forerunner, having my foot in the door right where it starts. So I have a website. It's BenjaminElliotGlass.com. If you want to follow me on it, yeah, right here, Benjamin Elliott Glass. Thank <laughs> I'm you for so having excited me. to blow glass yeah, let's with do you. It. Let's yes. do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
So have you figured out what unique local artistic gift you're gonna give your loved ones for the holiday season this year? Is it gonna be a hands-on immersive art class or a one-of-a-kind gift source from a local artist in St. Pete Clearwater? The options are truly endless as we saw. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of my artistic exploration of St. Petersburg Clearwater with VSPC. Be sure to subscribe to the VSPC YouTube channel for the next installment and to give me a follow on Instagram at The Gala Life, as well as Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube, and on Instagram for St. Pete Gals. So let's continue shining on and gallivanting together into a new year.